where you're standing. So we're going to talk today about different layers of guard retention and what that means, okay? So whenever you're playing guard, there's different distances in the guard. For those of you that have ever done any sort of stand-up striking, just like there's different distances in striking, like zones of engagement, if we're far away, I can't touch him, he can't touch me, but closer now, he can touch me, I can touch him. The same thing applies to playing guard, okay? So the first layer, distance, would be with no grips of anything, right? So in this situation, he has the advantage over me. Turn this me. Because he can initiate the movement, okay? I can't really reach him. There's nothing I, I can try and hook with my feet and then pull myself to him. But anything I do, I'm extending myself towards him and he's gonna be able to have the advantage in. Like doing underhook, grabbing my head, doing any sort of thing. So when I'm in this position, I don't really like to take an offensive stance. Especially because in jiu-jitsu, if we're speaking from a competitive standpoint, he, the ref will make him engage me, right? So because we train under these rules, we might as well think about it from a competitive standpoint. If he's far away from me, I don't really have to do anything. Because if he stays far away from me, he's going to get penalized, right? So when I'm here, I want to take the defensive stance where I have the advantage when he engages. If I stay like this and put my feet on the ground, he's just going to grab my knees and immediately start passing, right? And he'll be able to go right to side control and I'm just immediately starting to push and recover. If I'm pushing from the guard, I'm losing. The only time I'm winning from the guard is when I'm gripping, right? So if he immediately starts passing, here, I have to push immediately. If I'm pushing, I'm losing. Now I'm trying to recover. I try to recover this way. He's just going to go back the other way. And then now I'm still trying to recover. And he's just like built this chain of attack, right? And he's like uh, setting the tempo of the match. So whenever I'm playing guard, the first distance here, with no, where there's no engagement, I like to bring my knees as close to my chest as possible. And now I'm going to put my hands where I expect his hands to go, which in this case would be to my pant grip, my pants legs here, right? So he would immediately try and reach to my pants grips. Correct? Because that's the nearest thing to him. It's pretty unlikely that he's going to try and reach to my collar or anything else from here. Unless he may step in into De La Hiva, like if he just steps in, that's fine. But most of the time, if the guy is a good passer, he's going to go to the first grip, which would be the pants grips. That's why I'm putting my hands here. So I can immediately get a grip as he gets a grip. Okay? So the second I feel him try and reach to get a grip, I can immediately grip and then start to set up my guard. So that there's no time for him to actually start attacking me before I actually get my grips. Because like I said, if we're gripping, we're doing well. So the first distance, uh, besides actual, there's no contact distance, the first distance would be spider guard. So if he would reach to start attacking, I would put him in spider guard, okay? If you don't like spider guard and you feel uncomfortable playing spider guard, your other option is to grab the pants. This requires less flexibility and you don't really need to play spider guard. You can kind of just chill with your legs here and start to set up other guards and you'll be fine. But for those of you that enjoy playing spider guard or lasso guard, this would be the first distance, right? Here. And for those of you that think that uh, if you're too short to play spider guard, watch a guy named Alec Baldy. He's like five foot seven, and he plays a really effective spider guard. He's from Alliance. He's really good. So spider guard is effective for anyone. Okay. So this would be the first distance of the guard, the first layer. And when I, the reason I say layer is because it's layers of defense. Okay. So this is the first layer of defense here. What that means is he has to pass this layer of defense to start to proceed to pass my guard, okay? If I just let him pass and he starts weaving his hands, like the weaker hands in, and like do some, yeah. So now he's broken my first layer. But I don't wanna just relinquish all the way to like half guard or something like that. I wanna make him fight through multiple layers before he can start pressure him to pass, right? So this is the layer number one here, spider guard. If he weaves his hand inside, weave any hand inside here, now I've lost my spider guard. So the next layer is gonna be lasso, because I can do it immediately after he breaks my spider guard. Okay, now that I'm in lasso, you know the guy's gonna try and pass this in a certain way. What's the way to pass lasso, Chief? Uh, weave your hand. Weave. So we know he's gonna weave his hand. So when he weaves his hand out, I need to immediately, like my grip is gonna break here. Let's turn this way. Once he starts weaving his hand, my grip will break. I'm gonna be in a disadvantage here, weave your hand. Once he gets his hand to the outside, I don't want it to stay here. If I stay here, he's going to be able to set something up and I'm going to lose my grip and now I have just one grip against his attack and that's not good. So I need to be prepared to switch to my next layer of defense. So spider guard here, he weaves his hand in to start to pass the spider guard. I'm going to switch to lasso. Once he starts to break lasso, I'm going to go to Del Hiva. Okay? So now I'm making a fight through multiple layers of the guard, right? So now, what's he going to do to break the Del Hiva? We've all trained this. He's going to push the knee. If I stay here, and my leg is out like this, and I just stay here and try and play this guard, this is not a guard anymore. It's just him attacking the position. So I need to switch to the next layer. Now, depending on what you like, 
Like if you're Ed Kang, you may immediately want to go to deep half from here, which is fine. But if you don't play deep half, your next layer would be to go to reverse del hiva. So he opens my leg here. I'm just going to switch my hips and go to reverse del hiva. Here. So now, what's the next layer here? Can anyone guess? I was going to pass my reverse del hiva. He's going to start knee cutting. Right. Jeremy, he didn't say that loud, but he was right. He's going to start knee cutting. He's going to push my leg down and start to knee cut. So if you start a knee cut, what is this taking you? More into like a uh, knee shield half guard, right? This would be our one layer. This is like the fourth layer. Yeah, I think fourth. So spider guard, lasso, delahiva, reverse delahiva, and now to knee shield. So that's a fifth layer, okay? So now for knee shield, if I'm here, he's still going to be knee cutting me, right? Which takes us to our sixth layer, which would be like a quarter guard situation. Here, or if he's driving me across to the other side, this quarter guard here. So now we're getting down really deep into the layers. The deeper we go, the worse it is for us, but the goal is to reset the position as, as he attempts to pass each layer. Go ahead, come on. So now we're into the sixth layer here, right? The only thing worse than this, or the deep knee cut, is if he's totally smashing our head, like when he's here, like smash hat. This is probably the worst position we can be in without actually getting our guard passed, right? So his, his goal on top is to get to this position. My goal on bottom is to not let him get here and get through all of our layers of defense, right? So what we're gonna do today for this drill, the first part of the drill is we're gonna start from spider guard. Actually, we're gonna start from here. He's gonna reach, I'm gonna grab his sleeve, and I'm immediately gonna go to spider guard. Once I'm in spider guard, he's gonna weave a hand in either side, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna pick my lasso side, I'm gonna lasso. He's gonna weave his hand out, I'm gonna go to De La Hiva. He's gonna pop my hip, my foot off, I'm gonna switch to reverse De La Hiva. Put my foot on his hip. This is important when you're playing reverse delhi. You want to put your foot on the hip. Because if you just play here, you're just going to immediately start knee cutting and we're just get throwing away that layer, right? So we put our foot on the hip here. Now, if he starts to try and beat this, now we're going to the knee shield position. And as he starts to drive forward, he can knee cut. And now I'm a quarter, quarter guard. This is all bad news. Now from here, we're going into our seventh and eighth layers of defense, which would be the NK half guard position, deep half. We can get to those positions from the quarter guard and from the half guard if you're tricky with it. So when you're playing guard, don't think about it like, oh, what kind of guard do you play? Oh, I play reverse del Hugo, I play spider guard. You have to play all of them like consecutively to have a good guard. And that's what the guard retention is about. So the drill today is no grips, spider guard, lasso, he moves his hand out. Della Hiva, pops our grip, switch, reverse Della Hiva, he starts knee cutting, we go to quarter guard, he grabs across, we just immediately start setting up our deep half. Now from here, he can still pass his position, right? Like, what, what, what would you do if you're trying to pass? Perfect, yeah, so now he's in, <laughs> here. So it's just getting worse and worse for us. But chances are, if you play these layers effectively, he's not actually gonna reach all the way to this position, right? But we're just learning what to do each time he breaks our specific guard, okay? So let's walk through it one more time. No grips, spider guard. What's next? Lasso. He reaves out, what's next? He breaks with Delahiva, what's next? Reverse. Starts deep cutting, what's next? We wanna try and go new shield guard. These are kinda like one and the same, right? New shield and reverse Delahiva. He starts deep cutting. I'm going to quarter guard, BC quarter, quarter guard. From here, you can continue knee cutting, but if I have my underhook, he's going to have to drive me across. And when he does that, I'm going to deep half. Now, what's he going to do? He's going to do the Andre Galvao, deep half guard pass. And we're here. And now, from this position, we're pretty much screwed. Yeah, I've got no more layers. <laughs> you just got to scramble at this point, right? He may step over too. You can step over again, B, and start going to smash half. Okay, so we're gonna run through the positions right now and then we'll get into how to reset the positions for the next thing. Are there any questions? What's up, man? How are you doing? Last time I saw you was where? Sweden? No. All right. Um, okay, guys, let's do it. On three. One, two, three.